Hey everybody, it's Dizzy and I've got July favorites for you guys. It is July 31st, which means we have now gotten through two of the three months of summer, which is sad. There's only August left and then it's fall and I love fall, so I'm mostly okay with it. But anyway, um, let's get this party started. I don't have a lot of favorites, but the ones that I have are really love. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is my hair color. Um, I have been kind of force fading this um, just to kind of see how much dye will actually come out, how well it lasts. I have washed this six times with shampoo that has sulfate in it. I have used hot water. I've been outside. And it is faded to this pink, which is this really pretty kind of pastel. This is the lightest color I think I've ever allowed my hair to be and I don't know I love it I'm not sure if I love it on me but I do love pastel pink on other people but the color I used is arctic fox virgin pink and um yeah I think it's held up really well I would say it's held up at least as good as my special effects colors would if I put them through the same kind of ringer so I definitely think arctic fox is the business um, the next thing that I've been really liking that's non-makeup related is my Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Wash. I got it at Marshall's. I have been using it a lot. It smells like coconut with a little bit of vanilla in it, and it's just, it's just lovely. And, um, I'm gonna smell it. I wish you guys could smell it. It's so nice. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I've been really liking, and I have to look it up because I never remember what it's called. I got this in a Petty Vower box, and it is a Cognac Sponge Company facial sponge. This is it, still damp because I used it this morning. Um, you use it to wash your face. You can usually use it with a cleanser or without a cleanser. Works either way. It is amazing. It feels like a massage. It's so nice. Um, and when you first get it, it's like hard as a rock. Like it looks like a piece of like dried out sea sponge and then it expands and gets bigger when you get it wet. So that is awesome. Um, I have a brush I've been really liking this month. It's the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. I've been using it to do my um, blush and contour and all kinds of stuff, and it's been really good. Um, I actually found this out from Emily Noel because she's been talking about it for a long time now. So shout out to Emily um, from Beauty Broadcast this was a good advice. Most of your stuff is good advice. This was awesome. Um, the next thing is we'll do foundation. Um, last month was kind of the month of the BB cream. This month I've still been using my two BB creams, which is the Rimmel one and the Juice Beauty one, but I've also been trying the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous, and I really like it. I am wearing it on my face today, and I feel like it is a pretty natural coverage, and I like how it looks, and it holds up well for me. Um, for blush things, I have been using, I don't know if you can still get it, if you can find it, get it. The Wet n Wild Sunset Junction Color Icon. So it's this 3-in-1, and it was from the, one of their little special collections. So you get a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. And I'll just swatch that really quick. So you get this gorgeous highlighter this bronzer that's kind of warm, but I think it's okay. And then this really pretty sort of mauve brush. And that's all I have on my cheeks today, and I love it. The other blush thing I've been using pretty much when I'm not using that, or sometimes in conjunction with that, is Pinched from NYX. And I'll do a swatch of that too. Pinched is this gorgeous, slightly luminous, sort of coral with some almost terracotta notes. It is a gorgeous color. It looks very natural on the skin. Um, let's see what else we got. I will show you guys some eye stuff. Um, first of all, I am wearing it today. I have been really revisiting my Too Faced Boudoir eyes. Then I won't go ahead and swatch all of these, but I'll show you some of the ones that I'm using like right now. So right now all over my lid, I have satin sheets which is this kind of really pretty glimmery champagne-y pinky color. I have a little bit of Sugar Walls, which is another kind of different shade of champagne. And then I have a little bit of Vuli Vu, which is like a 
taupe purple, I guess. And then a little bit of French Tickler as an eyeliner, which is this black with a little bit of like almost glitter particles in it. It's this one right there. So I have been using those a lot and really enjoying revisiting this palette because I think it's a really nice palette. Um, but then on days that I have not been using that because I do feel like it's limiting, I feel like I can't get a lot of different looks out of it. So that's kind of something to think about. Um, and I feel like it's good quality, but you don't really need the palette. You can dupe that look with other stuff. But I have a couple Coastal Scents shadows I've put together in a little mini palette that I use pretty much every day. They're all matte. The first one is Chamois Nude, which is just this really pretty, like, vanilla nude color. The next is Bermuda Sand, which is this really nice kind of matte taupe gray color. I've been using it as a cool transition. And then I like to layer this one with it. This is Oatmeal Tan. And Oatmeal Tan makes a really good warm transition. So I've been using those kind of together. And then I've got two dark colors. Olive Wood, which is like a brown with a lot of khaki sort of green in it. Which I love. And then last but definitely not least, another cool tone. This is Blackberry. And this is like a really dark gray, I guess, with like a purple brown undertone. So yeah, those have been really cool. I've been using those a lot. Um, and then for eyeliner, and I have this underneath my eye, I have just been using the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Silky Cashmere. It's kind of a weird color, but I like it. It's like a bronzy rose gold taupe kind of color with a little bit of metallic in it. I don't know, but I find it's really pretty right under the eye or in the inner corner. Um, I've been using my Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. I did not like this at first, but now that I've gotten used to this crazy weird brush, see how weird this brush is? I really like it. It lets you like get right in there and go up and then the tiny tip on the end lets you get the lashes that are on the inner corner of the eye. So I think it does a really great job for that. And then finally, I've got some lipstick choices. So the one I'm wearing today is the NYX Tea Rose, and I've been wearing this a lot when I want a neutral. Just a really pretty, like, neutral with some pinky mauve to it. And then also by NYX, it's been kind of a NYX-heavy month, um, two of the Simply Red lipsticks. Um, so Simply Red Lip Cream, this one is in Candy Apple. And it's the brighter of the two reds that I have. So it's like red, which has been really fun. And then the other one is a little bit darker and richer. And it is Leading Lady. And as you can see, it's a little bit deeper, but it's almost the same tone. And I've been using those kind of interchangeably depending on how dark or light I want my makeup. So there you go. That is what's going on with me. That is what I liked in the month of July comments and let me know what you loved in July or if you've tried any of this stuff and maybe had a different experience than I did. Also guys, just a quick kind of poll. Look how long my roots are. They're like an inch long. Are the roots working? Do I need to bleach? Should I go back a darker pink? Should I maybe add some brown underneath? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like Frenchie from Greece, and that's not a bad thing. So um, just, yeah, comment, subscribe, talk to me, like this video. I, I love interacting with you guys, and I look forward to doing it more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.